Now here's a corn update. The uh, plants are a good 10 feet tall and uh, seem to be structured quite well. I'm walking around and quite commonly finding three sets of brace roots. It's a good impressive root system. Of course out here on the end where there's nothing next to them, the ears are nice and good sized, but uh, walk in there a ways it's not quite not quite the case. I'm seeing quite a bit of this. Did not get good ear tip fill. I'd have to blame that on some of those crazy rain showers we got at the tail end of pollination. It just didn't uh, just didn't get any grain fill at the tip. Now I'm walking through the rows and looking at the plants, that's I'm seeing quite a bit of that. Yeah, got some gray leaf spot and some rust. But uh, more so on the lower part of the plant than the upper part. But not enough to worry too much about. It's, you know, not that big a deal. Well, the combine will tell when uh, you get into these get into these fields with combine, and uh, we'll just see if this uh, corn we picked will pay off. Here's the spot I did my last corn update. Here in this corner of the field. And uh, once again, you can really see that impressive root system. Three sets of brace roots there. And it's, but uh, they uh, they look good here. Of course, you always get that around the edges. But uh, yeah, 10 feet tall, and uh, the leaves don't look too bad. It's more gray leaf spot than rust over here. There's a little bit of rust. Yeah, that one's not as bad, but... Uh, Still got that lack of ear tip fill. And that's that's gonna hurt us a certain amount, but uh, yeah, you just have to uh, let it dry down and run the combine through it. See what it does. to reclaim taking a look at these beans yep, and they are short suffering from the same herbicide carryover I'd, that's what I'd guess but they are loaded loaded with pods so they should still yield halfway decent Walk over here where they're taller and see what they look like. Lots of pods, just loaded. Okay. Yep, taller plant, really just more space between the nodes. Yeah, until you get something like this where you got. more pods 
Four pods on the plant. Oh yeah. And they get short. And they get tall. Depending on where you're standing in this field. Of course this this dirt over here is so strange. It can be up and down and have absolutely nothing to do with the lay of the land. Morning, morning glory vine. I'm trying a different, different number. A different, whole different brand of soybeans in this field. All the all the reclaim we got. But uh, yeah, not looking bad. Not looking bad. Should still do pretty good. Uh, I run down to another field here and have a look at that one. Okay, this is the one particular spot on all of this reclaim that the beans are actually the height I'd expect and are branching between the rows. Got the rose bush completely shut, but the branching is to the point where you can't hardly walk down the row. But we are getting some weeds. Let's talk about and once you leave that spot, back to these short, puny looking things, still loaded with pods. You walk over this way and they, it improves, they, they get a little taller. Still not looking bad. It was right over here a couple years ago when I was. I was pulling in, I don't know what it was, it was pretty dang high yield, a good 60-70 bushels, as fast as that combine filled up. So uh, let me just see what these do. Yeah, so this is even taller. Looks better than than uh, my uh, normal fields, the non-reclaim. Of course, this ground didn't get abused for as many years as the non-reclaim fields did. Let's see if we can't build it up into uh, something that performs really well because uh yeah looking pretty good if there's any doubt of how good of a job a culture culture can do making a seat bed
after only being 15 feet wide. I gotta turn pretty fast. I wanna try to hold the same engine RPM. So keep my speed and my pressure consistent. stuff I'm dealing with. Yeah. You can't hardly bust it apart. Beating it against itself on the ground. But, still managed to bust it up. Quite well, actually. It's pretty dry and this over here that got mulched twice busted up even more on the end and then there's a random kind of gray colored spot and it's the best working dirt in the entire field right here which is yeah see that's probably what's supposed to be here over this more subsoil like stuff but, uh, yep. Got this all done. Time for the planter.